Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the 30 seconds of silent reflection. This is a dress code and lanyard check. Any students not in dress code or not wearing a lanyard need to go to the Student Success Center located in room 103B. Please sit down for today's announcements. Can you believe that there are only 10 days left in the school year? The last day of school is Monday, May 22nd. So there are only 10 more days of school as of today. And there are only four more days left for you to have a chance to win this Nintendo Switch Tears of the Kingdom Edition, which you'll have a chance to win by earning as many AR points as you can by Friday, May 12th. Friday, May 12th. Friday, May 12th. Yeah. That's the cutoff date for the last chance for you to take any AR quizzes for the contest. Now, on Monday, you guys will get all of your tickets for a chance to put in all the buckets for a chance to win this Nintendo Switch, as well as a bunch of other awesome prizes. And those top points earners at each grade level will get a chance to choose their guaranteed prizes or to take their tickets so that they have a chance to win those prizes, too. Let's take a look at that leaderboard right now. In the sixth grade, Saran Rajesh leads the entire school with 348.4 points. Edith Melgard now in second place with 246.1. Hannah Bonomo in third place with 81.5 points. Alyssa Ramke with 72 points so far this quarter. Julian Lingat, 71.5 points. Brooklyn Tully with 64.1. Jenna Garitano with 58.9. Ian Hayes with 57.2. Sophia Valari with 55.6. And Archer Stone with 54 points. In the seventh grade, Eli Gilkey still leads with 174.9 points. Kalen Aspergren in second place with 117.8. Jalen Mitchell with 116.5. Ming Yi with 99.7 points. Chloe Ben with 85.5. William Frum 57 points. Blake Mack with 51.4 points. And Roman Muse, 46.6 points. Ian Damale, 44.1. And Alexander Sanchez with 44 points even. In the 8th grade, Conan Goss takes 1st place with 177.4 points. Maggie Russell in 2nd place, 169.8. Ethan Watkins in 3rd place with 111.3. Isabella Zulser, 104 points. Oliver Elton, 94.8. Alam Youssef, 81.7. Alina Douglas with 79.6. Anna Swenson, 75.8. Angel Lee with 68.9. And Talon Gilliland with 51 points so far this quarter. Sixth graders have read 107,681,148 words so far this year. Seventh graders have read 84,563,704 words so far this year. And the eighth graders have read 130,712,302 words so far this year. minutes every day. Have you ever wondered what to do during an emergency or drill when in the cafeteria or quad, before school or during lunch? Always follow these steps. Always stay calm and quiet. Always listen to staff members. For lockdown, go to the cafeteria and stay in the cafeteria or return to the cafeteria. Duck and cover under tables. Follow staff directions or intercom directions. For, you, for an evacuation fire drill, Wait for instructions via intercom, announcement, or staff member direction. Evacuate the cafeteria by table when directed to do so to the black parking lot by buses. Meet up with your fourth period teacher there in lineup.
purchase a yearbook, they will be distributed on Friday, May 12th, during fifth period for sixth and seventh grade, and sixth period for, for eighth grade. <laughs> Thursday, May 11th is the last day for the late bus this school year. Summer school signups are finally here. If you are interested in taking some classes this summer, please contact or meet with your school counselor. Yellow summer school informational flyers are available in the back office. If you have any questions, please see your grade level counselor. What time is it? Congratulations to the boys' soccer team for an undefeated season, ranking first in the Southeast Division and making it to the playoffs. Cheer on the team for the first playoff game on Tuesday, May 9th, versus Rogage Middle School. Let's go, Dolphins. My academy club will be having our last meeting of the year this Wednesday, May 10th, in room 338. We will be finishing up our movie we started last week. See you there. students to be safe and focused on their education while attending Greenspun JHS. Therefore, we strictly enforce a hands-off policy on campus. This means that students are not allowed to push, shove, trip, slap, or otherwise strike another student in either play or anger. Holding hands, hugging, walking in arms is not allowed. Consequences for violation of the hands-off policy may range from a warning to suspension, depending on the frequency and severity of the offense. Thank you, Greenspun. Those are today's announcements. Have a great day.